For our next example, we're gonna look at this number. Go ahead and give a shot um, naming this number. So this is four and 381 thousandths. So remember, you've got your whole number, four, and then you, for the decimal, and, and then you read this number, 381, and that one is in the thousandths place. So that's where it gets its name, four and 381 thousandths. Let's put this number into our place value chart and break it down um, and decompose it. So let's first name it in unit form. How many ones do I have? That's four ones. How many tenths? Three tenths. How many hundredths? Eight hundredths. And how many thousandths? One thousandth. Let's decompose this number and use the greatest number of tenths that we can. So when I'm looking to use the greatest number of tenths, I know that four ones is the same thing as 40 tenths. And I have these three tenths here. So if I have 40 tenths and three tenths, that would give me 43 tenths. And I would still have eight hundredths and one thousandth. So when I'm breaking this down, you can think about when I'm using the greatest number of tenths, I'm just moving this four backwards that really represents 40 tenths, and then I'm using my three as well. Now let's break it down and try to use the greatest number of hundredths. Go ahead and pause this video and see if you can do it on your own. So 43 tenths is the same thing as 430 hundredths, and then I also have my eight hundredths, so that would be 438 hundredths, one thousandth. So as you can see, it just looks like I'm moving the four and three backwards and adding my eight. Let's do the same thing with thousandths. Now we're trying to name this number in unit form only using thousandths. Go ahead and pause this video and see if you can do it on your own. So that would be 4,381 thousandths. Now, if I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, which decomp decomposition helps me see where this number is at and how I can set up my number line. If I'm rounding to the greatest, or if I'm rounding to the tenths position, I would use this decomposition. Because you can see I have 43 tenths. That means this number is somewhere between 43 tenths and 44 tenths. So, on my place value or on my number line, I'm going to be rounding. I know that I can start with 43 tenths, which would be the same thing as 4.3, and I'm going to add two zeros since my number is in thousandths. And I know I could round up from 43 tenths to 44 tenths. And I know that 44 tenths would be four ones, four tenths. And I'm gonna add two zeros because my number has thousands. Now what's in the middle of 43 tenths and 44 tenths? That would be 43 tenths and five hundredths. So what would that look like? That would look like 4.350. So you see I have my 43 tenths, my five hundredths, and then I have a zero for my thousandths place. Now let's look at this 4.381. Would it lie if I'm looking at my midpoint, would it lie, is it bigger than 4.350 or is it smaller than that? Well, let's compare. They both have a four in the ones, a three in the tenths, eight in the hundredths here, and a five in the hundredths here. So I know my number is a little bit bigger than the midpoint. We're gonna label that there. So it's, if it's on the midpoint or above, it rounds up. 
So I know this number is going to round up to 44 tenths or 4.4. .4.